three cases of dogs paralyzed because of slipper disc in which stem cells were used twice after surgery. The first case is a 12-year-old Rottweiler with slipper disc paralysis. The owner had him operated on successfully. But after three good months the dog began to worse to the point that he could no longer get up or turn around when he was lying down. The owner was desperate because he knew he should have the dog put down for humanitarian reasons, so, overcoming his sadness, arranged to visit to the vet. When he arrived, there he could not find parking, so decided to return another day. That evening he heard about my treatment and the next day he brought the dog to me. We decided to treat him with stem cells even if there was little hope. When he arrived he could hardly walk and in the first video you see him 15 days after the first treatment. The owner was happy because the dog could turn, get up alone and walk it better. We continued our therapeutic protocol and after 8 months the Rottweiler was back to a normal life. and even try to run. The second case is a small bitch who had an MLC operation by an excellent surgeon for a slipped disc when her hindquarters were completely paralyzed. After surgery she required deep feeling, then she was able to stand on four legs for a few seconds and take a few uncoordinated steps. For three months there was a slight improvement, but even though she had regular physiotherapy, the dog regressed. The owner decided to try stem cells. You can see her on the first day of treatment and 12 days later noticeably improved. We inject stem cells and one month after the first inoculation the result is miraculous. In these two cases stem cells work together with an early diagnosis and surgery. The third case instead is a chihuahua with a fracture and a slipper disc that dragged himself 
on his front legs and was incontinent. His owner had adopted him a year after the trauma and decided to try stem cells. You can see him on the first day of treatment. and then one year later, working in his own particular way and no longer incontinent. The possibility of using stem cells successfully, that is having the key to start the engine of this Ferrari that everybody is talking about, but nobody is able to bring out of the garage, has been found through a new theory and a different way of thinking. In the organism there must be cells that inform an organism the other cells, and what could have such profound knowledge of the organism if not adult stem cells that are able to make the enter individual? And where could these cells be if not in the blood, that is the only tissue that reaches all the organs? Obtaining these cells and introducing them into the organism could improve health without them having to be accumulated in the sick organs? This theory was confirmed twice. One, because pluripotent stem cells are in the blood. And two, because their inoculation causes extraordinary improvement in the health. A Nobel was awarded for the failed tentative to obtain and use pluripotent stem cells therapeutically, but we already have these stem cells and are using them with our safe therapeutic protocol. In fact, the only significant stem cells cure videos on YouTube come from our research. The trials are based on a quantistic theory but our cells are qualified and quantified. Therefore, our work is much more scientific than all the works that have been done up to now and this theory is the only one that explains tissue improvement without the stem cells having to reach the sick area. Now, modern physics is the base of all the sciences and only medicine is still tied to Newton's laws that have been surpassed for over 100 years by the relativity theory. If a third-class patent expert in the Berna office, not a Harvard luminary, that is Albert Einstein, began to think differently and change the laws in physics and maths, why cannot a vet who treats horses change the laws of medicine?